Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learning Developer and in this video I am going to introduce a new project which is e-learning website which I have made using PHP and MySQL and I will provide the source code of this project in the description but before downloading the source code just watch this entire video so that you can understand how this project works and what is happening in this project and what are the modules okay and I will create another video explaining how to import and run this project how to set up the environment like it is a PHP project so you have to download the XAMPP and you have to put the project files into the hdocs folder all that thing and how to import the database I will explain that in the another video in this video let's see how this project works and one more important thing guys generally I don't provide source code okay if you are following my channel then you might know that I don't provide source code because I want you to learn by yourselves and if you want source code let me tell you clearly we don't do we don't do that here okay black panther dialogue we don't do that here but 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 this time I'm providing the source code assuming that you will make a good use of it and by good I mean you will try to debug this code you will try to understand this code okay so after after trying if you are not getting let me know i will create videos explaining that topic okay so let's start this project so basically this project contains two users first one is user or you can say student and the second one is admin user okay admin so and our this project contains three three major models first one is programming this is a e-learning website okay so this contains this content three major models first one is programming second one is video tutorials third one is quiz so let me show you first i have to log in so i have i'm gonna log in as user first okay so i use an and login so cool now this is Heath ledger the legendary actor again if you want you can change the wallpaper from source code and this is the service section this is important because our entire project resolve around this modules the first one is programming so if you want user want to learn programming he can learn from our website uh, initially our programming section contains only three languages you can, again you can add the languages from the admin panel uh, and i have three languages here you suppose user want to learn java so from here he can learn java okay so you can see all the java related topic again this topic you have to add from the admin portal okay so i have added this topic from the admin portal and user can read from here so back back and these are the same android user can learn android in this i have added only one more topic you can add multiple topics and let me go back and this is uh, the second module is video tutorials uh, from here user can watch video lectures okay not live but pre-recorded video you can say so video tutorials suppose you want to learn java initially i have only one course for video tutorials you can add multiple courses here suppose you want to add python related videos so you have to add a course as python and in that python course you have to add the all python related videos I have only one course java online videos you can add multiple courses from the admin portal i will show you first let me show this so if you user want to learn java okay so again don't think much about the thumbnails okay i got i kept this thumbnail just for demonstration purpose you can change the thumbnail from the admin panel if you user click on the first video so here see you can watch the videos again this video is coming directly from youtube okay let me explain you instead of using the video or you, you can say instead of storing the videos on my server or you can say on my machine i use iframe tag and in that iframe i provided the link of my youtube video okay the benefit is you can save the a lot of server space okay if you are gonna make this project live so you will save a lot of server space because videos take a lot of server space so that's why I use this technique I will explain how to do this from admin panel and user can comment also from here suppose I want to comment nice video okay nice video spelling mistake sorry nice video and comment and you can see the comment is visible here and you can delete the comments and edit the comments also but there is a problem if I want to delete the comment 
and in first refresh it is not deleting the comment but when i refresh again the comment got deleted this is happening because i don't know why because i made this project 3 years back in my college days uh, if you know php then you can fix this okay so let me go back and this is the video tutorials here is image negative you can add the uh, video tutorials from the back end or admin portal and the third module is exercise from here user can perform or attend the quiz suppose i want to attend quiz for php so start quiz and see here the timer is started and uh, and first and let me select if the timer if the times are, if the time got expired the form will be submitted automatically okay so i want to select this and submit so you can say i have attempted three question number of question 3 attempted 3 right question 2 and wrong one not attempted 0 and here is my score let me go back home page okay so these three modules are all about and from here this is our work section from here you can add the images related to your works and this is member section okay this is me from my college days and these are my friends you can see the see i am the ceo he is senior developer and he is junior developer and this is general faq section okay how to read the videos how to log in how to how does it work all that you can add this from admin portal and contact us and this is contact us form okay so this okay so that's all and let me log in as admin so when you click on there user uh, when you click on the name you, you will be logged out and let me log in as admin this is admin panel from here you can manage all those three modules so first is manage course manage video and manage quiz so let me go to manage video videos see here i have three courses i want if you want to add another course you can add from here suppose i want to add css course it is a beginner course description and choose a image let me choose any random image screenshot okay so okay here the course is added successfully from here you can add topics into that initially i have added a topic but if you want to add you can you will see no topic here initially if you want to add you can add topics from here enter the topic name suppose i want to enter css suppose style tag topic name is style tag and here it is a description it is a description okay and submit and the topic is added successfully and this topic will be visible to user okay so let me go to manage courses and if you want to delete a course you can delete for a course from here suppose i want to delete and delete delete successfully okay this is the programming related stuffs and now i have let me go to the manage video section this section contains the video related things like i have only one tutorials i want to add another tutorial so go to manage course and here you have to say suppose i want to add python and it is a beginner course and here you have to add the thumbnail so i have added the thumbnail so you can see course added successfully and in that course i have to add the videos uh, if we if i click on view videos you can see i have one videos because i have added this videos earlier to check okay so i want to delete this okay so initially you will see no no videos here so you have to add a new videos here i you have to this is a python video suppose this is the title you can change this enter title so this is a video a python video from here select the image okay and here you have to enter the part remember i told you that i use iframe so in that iframe you have to enter the v2 video path let me explain you i have youtube i want to add my videos okay so i want to go to channel your video your channels and i want this add this videos okay so you, i have to share and you will see embed you have to click on embed and from here you have to select only src part src let me copy the src 
copy okay and come here and add here and add so the core video added successfully from here i can watch or and from add, uh, user panel user can also watch these videos okay and you can see from here i can watch the videos let me go back course added successfully okay no problem from here i can delete the course also suppose i want to delete the added course the python course submit the course deleted successfully okay and okay so the link is not present behind this uh, button so you will you have to add that and the third one is manage quiz and from here you can manage the quiz section i want to add another suppose i want to add uh, hibernate okay hibernate and submit so here you will see i got the hibernate but in initially it doesn't contain any question so i have to add the question also to so i want to add question so question 1 and here i have to enter the option i am just to show you i am entering any random and correct answer here you have to select the correct answer so suppose second answer is correct so copy and paste it here and choose the course so i want this question to be added in hibernate course so and submit so when i and let me check the question added or not so click on hibernate and start quiz so you can see the question is added and the right answer was option 2 so let me select option 2 and submit so you can see the my answer is right i got 100% okay let's go back and you can delete the quiz also if you I, if i want to delete suppose i want to delete the added course which is hibernate okay let me refresh manage quiz delete and hibernate and submit so here you can see there is no course hibernate okay so let's go to home page okay that's all these are the three modules and here you can see the users which are using our website again in the backend there is a table called user from there this data is coming and this is faq section and there is also a table in the backend called faq from there you can add the new faq if you want okay so that's all in the next video i will explain you how to import and run this project and how to download the jam server how to do the configuration all that stuff i will explain you in the next video and if you are not understanding any of this module let me know in the comment section i will create a separate videos explaining that module or topic and that's all see you in the next video if you want to learn more programming stuff projects so do subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so see you in the next video bye bye